Charlie's Angels Full Throttle is the sequel to Charlie's Angels. Once again, stars Drew Barrymore, Cameron Diaz, and Lucy Liu. And basically, this time around, we have a very silly, dumb, and entertaining plot all wrapped up in one. Basically, the Angels, Alex, Dylan, and of course, you know it. You know it. Natalie. <laughs> they are ready to go undercover to retrieve two missing silver wedding bands containing valuable encrypted information and the new identities of every person in the Federal Witness Protection Program. When witnesses start to turn up dead, only the angels can stop the perpetrator by using their masters of disguise, espionage, and martial arts skills. So yeah, we got ourselves a pretty dumb, silly, fun, entertaining sequel. And you know what? I freaking love the sequel. This, it may not be, it's not better than the first one, plot-wise, but it's still a fun time. I don't really see uh, why this movie has a 40% of Rotten Tomatoes. This was the second and last installment in the series. A 43%. And this movie got nominations... Wow. 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 This movie made 120 million, I mean, 259 million against a $120 million budget. Now, this is a, let me just say, I love the cameos in here. You got cameos from Pink. The Pussycat Dolls, Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen, The Late Carrie Fisher, that was awesome. Eve, Melissa McCarthy's cameo, Guy Oseri, and then there is a photo of Bill Murray, but he's not in this one. That was. I didn't mind that he wasn't in this one because I didn't like how his character disrespected Lucy Liu. But let me just say those cameos were pretty awesome to see and those were just wow. Just awesome cameos by the way. Also, I really enjoyed the action sequences here. For a movie that costs $120 million, they used that budget all the way up. All the way up. They weren't playing around. They just decided to go all out with the action. And you also got Bruce Willis in here. Which, that was awesome too. As one of the FBI agents. That was cool. Let me just say... I really love the performances in this in this movie. Again, Cameron Diaz is always great, except for her her bad movies. Her bad movies is easily her worst. Drew Barrymore, she produced both of these movies, and she is great in here. Again, as Dylan Sanders, but Lucy Liu still having pride in being being a woman, and she embraces her her beautiful feminine. Nism in this in both of these movies. Demi Moore as the villain, she is great. A lot of people has hated Demi Moore. You get for G.I. Jane, Strip Tease. You people just basically people just has no respect for Demi Moore. 
Crispin Grolov is back. He's cool. You got Shia LaBeouf in here, which that was cool to see. And Bernie Mac. Bernie Mac is great in here. We rest in peace, Bernie Mac. We miss you. You are freaking awesome. But wish you were still here with us. But unfortunately, New Morning took took you away a little too soon. I once again, you got Matt LeBlanc here. He's still in love with Lucy Lou. John Cleese is great here. And then Jacqueline Smith. Wow. And I forgot she was in both of these movies. But her, she's great. And yeah. All the performances are great. The music is great. The soundtrack is awesome. The cinematography is really great. I love the cinematography here. I love how this movie's edited. This movie is an hour and 46 minutes. It goes by fast. Now, there is problems when it does come to... When it does come to... Some of the writing. Some of the writing is a little over the top. Cheesy and crazy. But it's fun. It knows it's fun. Basically, if you shut your brain off, you will have fun with it. That's basically what you gotta do. You gotta shut your brain off. And just have a good time. Roll with it. <laughs> and that's why I really like, like, you roll with it. And it's awesome. So... I have nothing more to say about Charlie's Angels Full Throttle, except that I wish we we could have gotten a third movie with these ladies before you decide to go on the reboot train. But yeah, what can you do? At least I got two entertaining movies, and they're both entertaining. It's awesome. So, I am going to give Charlie's Angels full throttle once again. Once again, you know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to give this an epitastic. These are two epitastic awesome movies that are just overlooked and they are fun. Fun. So let me know what you guys think about this that this sequel down below. Do you like it? Do you not like it? Be sure to follow me on all my social media links during the description down below. Also in my about tab. Thanks for watching and commenting and subscribing on my stuff. And this is Future Film Maker 3940 sign out, and you guys, as always, keep it cool.